Well, yesterday at 5, we told you about the closure of two juvenile detention centers in Ramsey and Hennepin counties. It comes as we are seeing teenagers committing more crimes. Today, a St. Paul mother is sharing her story. She wants people to understand the plight of parents who need help holding their children accountable for the crimes they commit. As Reg Chapman found, her voice is one of many wanting some kind of place where teens can go to get the help they need before it's too late. So my son's been home, brought home several times, uh, more than once, more than twice, um, in connection with being in a car that was stolen. Tanya Lewis says her 15-year-old son's journey through the juvenile criminal justice system started by skipping school. He was truancy in school. He was getting brought home in stolen cars. The, there was reports of, I've, I called the police on my son about a gun that he had. Me, I made the phone call. Nothing happened. Reached out to them, you know, asking, you know, what kind of help can I get for my son? Lewis says her son continued to get slaps on the wrist while the crimes he was involved with escalated. Well, they brought him home and I refused to let him in the house. You know, I said, take him to jail and was threatened from the police that, you know, if I didn't let him come home, that they were going to call child services on me. So I told them, you know, maybe I need child services. If my son's running around in stolen cars, maybe I need help with them. She believes early intervention is crucial when it comes to redirecting youth offenders. She struggles with a decision made to close Boys Totem Town. It needs to be somewhere for us moms that want to save our kids before they have records, a place for them to go. Somewhere to, to, to scare them and somewhere for them to say, hey, I don't want to be in Totem Town. I don't want to go to this place. And it's going to make them think twice about some of the decisions that they make before they make them. Boys Tillum Town and the Hennepin County Home School closed in 2019. Both housed some of the most violent youth offenders in Ramsey and Hennepin County for more than 100 years. The closings came after both counties adopted a new system that reduces the number of kids in detention. When Boys Totem Town was closed in the Hennepin County Home School, we lost our ability to seriously intervene with kids that are involved in criminal activity. Some law enforcement and boots on the ground organizations believe youth offenders know there's nowhere for them to be held after they are caught by police. So once they are released, they continue to offend. Ramsey County says research shows kids do better when they are able to remain in home or in community-based programs while under the supervision of the state. Lewis says that is a hard sell to parents trying to help guide their children away from crime. I feel like it's um, letting, letting the kids down. Is letting parents down because there's nowhere for us to send our kids or for them to go to rehabilitate. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Some of the most violent youth offenders are taken to other facilities across the state. Lewis says that her son eventually got the guidance he needed once he left Minnesota and went to live with his older sister in another state.